Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another grocery haul video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. So this is my first grocery haul since WW changed to the personal points. So if you're new to my channel, I do follow the WW program, but I do try to give calories on my channel as well. With that being said though, I have the Sam's Club haul that I did, but then I also did a Walmart grocery pickup a couple days ago. I'll be inserting that clip after this. And for those of you counting calories, I was so into scanning everything to try and figure out the new points for everything that I failed to give calories on that. So I apologize to those of you who are counting calories. I just, my mind is so WW focused this week. It's a learning curve for me. So on the Walmart haul, it's not going to, I'm not going to be sharing the calories, but on, I think most of the items you can pretty much see what the calories are based on, you know, it usually says right on the front of the package. So Sam's Club this week was more for meat. I did a Sam's Club haul uh, probably a month or two ago maybe. That was more for canned things. So this time was for meats. So I'm gonna be giving you the points for me. Now chicken breast and turkey breast are zero for me. So if you have to count those, you'll have to put those into your tracker because I no longer have a way that I can like toggle back and forth. I used to be able to go through and toggle between blue, green, and purple on my app and I can't do that anymore, obviously. So for me, I got some chicken breast, zero. I also got these chicken breast tenderloins. These are zero points. I absolutely love these. I've mentioned so many times, these are just great for just throwing them in your instant pot frozen with a cup of water, putting them on high pressure for nine minutes, letting them naturally release for six, and they are good to go. They are so good. So I've mentioned that I can't find the Canadian bacon. So still can't find the Jones Dairy Farm, I think it's called, which is fine. The members mark has Canadian bacon for the same. So this, you can have one slice for zero points or four slices for one point. And the calories on these are 60 calories for three slices. And then the calories on chicken, what is it, like 110, I think. Actually, this one is 100 calories for four ounces. I think that's a little bit less. And the regular chicken breast is 130 calories for four ounces. And then my husband got some roast beef. He likes this kind. I usually stay away from roast beef just because I always thought that it was a lot higher in points, but it's not as high in points as I thought. It is beef and I try to watch how much beef I'm having in a week, but this one is one point for two ounces, three points for four ounces. Not sure why I didn't scan the three ounces. And if you're counting calories, it's 80 calories for three slices. And then I got, this is the kind I like, the oven roasted, <laughs> you can see my camera in there, the oven roasted turkey breast. This is a true zero. So it's zero points no matter how much I put in there. So this is the 98% fat free made with whole turkey breast. So that is zero points. And calories on this one, 60 calories for three slices. Back here I got some top sirloin steak and beef chuck. From what I could figure in the app, those are three points for four ounces, and these are four points for four ounces. And I couldn't find any place that showed the calories on these, so if you're counting calories, I'm not sure what those are. And then I got some of these pretzels. My grandson likes these, my husband likes these, I like these. You can have three, no, 10 of these. You can have 10 of these for three points. And calories, of course, is on the bottom. 100 calories for one ounce. So those are really good just dipped in regular yellow mustard. Love them that way. They're also good with Laughing How cheese as well. I got some cauliflower, some garden salad, just a big bag of garden salad. And then they had the double pack of honey wheat 40 calorie bread. It is a true one point for one slice. So two for two, three for three, four for four. It doesn't change and do that funny WW math. And then my husband wanted these. He thought that they were those uh, pita pockets. <laughs> like when you cut them in half, it's a pocket, but they're actually flatbreads. So he, but he still used it. He just folded it over for a sandwich. But we said that these would actually be really good for like pizza crust. So we might try that. These are five points for one flatbread or 200 calories. And then they had a big thing. This has 16 of these in there. I think when you usually buy these like at Walmart, they have eight of them. So this is the Extreme Wellness High Fiber Wraps. These are the ones that are one point each. And for calories, they're 50 calories. So that's what we got at Sam's Club. And now I'll insert the clip from my Walmart grocery pickup. So I have to say, it was nice to go through this and just scan 
once. So normally I was scanning once for the blue program, once for the purple, and once for the green. So this is the first little haul. It's just a small Walmart. I did a Walmart grocery pickup, just a small haul this week. So I'm going to start with the vegetables. I got these California style vegetable mix. I also got some broccoli, some baby carrots, uh, and some mini cucumbers. And I think that's all I got for my vegetables this week. I also got a thing of Diet Coke, which I will let you know, since I have started this program mon since Monday, I've not had a Diet Coke. I got some salsa and you know what? I forgot to scan that salsa, but I think it is zero points. So if you're new to WW, you can either look the items up by putting it in the search bar, or you can hit, see if I can focus, the little barcode there. And you can just scan the item and it'll let you know what it is. There we go. Okay, it is zero points. So zero points for two tablespoons. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're new, just because something says zero points doesn't mean you can have unlimited amounts of it. So for example, this one is zero points for two tablespoons, but I'm sure it becomes a point at some point. Yep, so when you get to four tablespoons, it becomes a point, so keep that in mind. All right, back here, I got some Premier Protein. Usually, I don't drink this a lot, but I do like it once in a while, and I don't normally get the powder. I usually get the kind that's already made, and they're two points for uh, just a regular one. Now, I do know the points have changed on some for the chocolate. It's still two points for the one that's already made, um, but I, I know the other kinds have changed. I scanned, uh, I had a caramel one in the fridge I scanned. I think that went up to three points, so remember, some of them have changed. So I got the powder this time though, because I thought this would be really good to have in my overnight oats. Just put a scoop in my overnight oats once in a while. And also this was $4 cash back on my Ibotta app. So I know a lot of you saw the free Thanksgiving food I got from Ibotta uh, in my last video. So I'll put the link to Ibotta down below if you're interested. I think I saved almost $8 this time from Ibotta. So for this kind, it's one point for one scoop, two points for two scoops, and then if you do have three scoops, it becomes four. All right, over here, the Trop 50, this is the orange juice my husband likes. This used to be three points. It's now two points for a cup, and I also did a half a cup to see if maybe it was zero, but it's one point for a half a cup, which is great because whenever I do drink orange juice, I usually just have a half a cup. So it's nice to know I can have a half a cup of orange juice for one point. Over here, almond milk. This is great value, unsweetened almond milk. For this kind, you can have three quarters of a cup for zero. And then when it be, anything over that becomes one point. So I think the almond milk that I used to get, I don't know if this kind has changed, but it used to be, I think the silk kind was half a cup for zero and anything more was a point. So I'm not sure if the silk brand changed or not. Over here, I got some Idahoan buttery homestyle mashed potatoes. The only reason I got these were because this was one of the things that was free from the Thanksgiving Ibotta special, and they were all out the last time, so this was still sitting in my Ibotta app, so I went ahead and got it, so got full amount back. I did scan those. Those are coming out to four points for a quarter cup, which the quarter cup is dry, so it says 140 grams prepared. So usually what I do is when I... After I make them, I just weigh out 140 grams. All right, next is my sweetener that I use in my coffee. I usually have two packets per cup. Now, <laughs> check your sweeteners because a lot of the sweeteners have gone up. So I didn't think this one did, but it's actually, if I have my four packets, so I have two cups of coffee in the morning and I have two packets in each one that's zero points but once you get to five packets it becomes a point moving on to my favorite everything pretzel crisps so these used to be three points and they are now four for an ounce i also got some hunt's crushed tomatoes i was actually happy to get these because i have not been able to find crushed tomatoes lately so these are zero and i think these are those one, these are one of those things that you get an extra point back if you eat a cup of it and actually i ordered the great value kind but they were all out so they gave me hunts for the same price I also got these 100% whole wheat sandwich thins. These are scanning at four points. Uh, Aldi has some sandwich thins too. I'm curious to see what the points are on those. They, those ones used to be three points at Aldi. So if you have gotten the Aldi uh, sandwich thins, let me know in the comments if those changed in points. They used to be three. So these ones are scanning at four. 
And then I got some rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. This is two ounces for one point. And then of course my eggs, which are zero for me. So if they are not one of your zero points, then make sure that you count them. So let me know in the comments, did eggs change? I know they were, they used to be two points for an egg. So if you count your eggs, let me know in the comments how many points those are now. Also potatoes are zero. So I'm curious if you do not have zero point potatoes, can you still have, I think it used to be you could have a five ounce potato for three points, I believe it was. So let me know in the comments what potatoes now are. My laughing cow cheese, I was happy to see is still one point for one wedge. And it is a true one for one for the garlic and herb kind. I mean, I went all the way up to 20 wedges and for 20 wedges is 20 points. So none of that screwy WW math. It is a true one for one. Now it used to be that the laughing cow light Swiss used to have the screwy math. It was one point for one wedge or three points for two wedges. So I want to look up and see if that light Swiss is the same or if that has changed now. Nope. The light Swiss is now, doesn't have that funny math. Two for two. Let me go all the way up to 20 like I did on. Okay. It does get a little bit screwy after 10. So 10 points for 10 wedges. When you get to 11, it becomes 12. The reason for that is the light Swiss is 35 calories and the garlic and herb is 30 calories. All right, moving on. Look what I found, Canadian bacon. I haven't been able to find this lately. Of course, this is just a very small package, so I'm anxious to see if my Sam's Club has it in stock again. For this, you can have three of the little bacon slices for one point. If you just have one slice, it is zero. So like if I make my bacon, egg, and cheese muffins, I can just use one piece and that would be zero. And then I got some butterball turkey sausage. I wanna say this increased. It's uh, three points for two ounces. It seems to me like that didn't used to be that high before, but maybe. I also got some everything hummus. I don't know if you can see that. So I never used to like hummus and my friend Judy, when her and her husband Terry visited a couple weeks ago, she brought me some hummus and it was the roasted red pepper and I actually really liked it. And this scanned out at two points for two tablespoons, one for one. And then I got some waffle cut French fried potatoes. So I'm really gonna be making, mostly making my own fries now with just regular potatoes. I actually love them that way anyway, but I do like to just have these once in a while. But these scanned out at five points. The serving size is three ounces, which is about six pieces. And that comes out to five points. So five points for six of these. I'm trying to feel what the, oh, they are pretty decent size. My husband can probably have those. I will just make my own out of regular potatoes. I also got some ground turkey breast. This kind is the one that's zero points for me. So if you have chicken breast and turkey breast as your zero point foods, if you're new to WW, only the ground turkey breast is the one that's zero points. If you get the other ground turkey, that's the 93% lean. In fact, I had some in my freezer, so I'm gonna show it to you. This scans with points. So this kind here is, it's four points for four ounces. I went through, it's basically one point per ounce. So I don't know if it changes once you get over the four ounces, but so just make sure to track it. So again, the 93% lean ground turkey is points but your ground turkey breast and your chicken breast is gonna be zero. That's for those of you who have your chicken breast and turkey breast as zero point food. So I think I hit everything for this week. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a meal prep up this weekend or not. We are hoping to take our grandson to a monster truck racing. So if we do that, we'll probably have him and I, I just don't know. I may be able to film and do a voiceover, I'll see. So I know this video was a little bit dragged out, but just because the plan has changed, that's why. So if you're new, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.